Yeah. Well, we continue our look at Chris Conley's eight facets of life with some tips on that very subject, the subject of fun. Hmm. How to go about it in a way that continues to bring the balance in your life that you need to have. Getting everything you need to out of fun. Fun! Are you having fun? We all strive to have fun, but how many of us actually achieve that? Well, we're going to hopefully maybe give you some tips as author Chris Conley joins us once again as we continue our look at the eight facets of life, achieving a, a balanced life. And we've talked about personal development, we've talked about family relationships, we've talked about health, we've talked about career, we've talked about finance. Let's talk about fun, which is a little bit of a catch-all because we all define fun a little bit differently. But let's face it, without fun, life is really quite dreary. Right. And like you mentioned, Fun is different to everyone. It's kind of like uh, beauties in the eyes of the beholder. So some people would turn up their nose when I say I play golf, uh, but someone else may feel the same way about something else that I wouldn't care for. And I think one thing that we need to make <coughs> sure we get out of whatever we determine is fun, it has to rejuvenate us. Right. I think that's the key is, you know, if we can be refreshed, then we're going to come back with more of a... Uh, the better aspect that we can do our jobs better, we can be better parents, things along that line. What is maybe the biggest stumbling block people have to finding fun and enjoying their life with fun? Well, I, I think probably from a family perspective, it's what can we do that everyone's going to enjoy, you know, and that's going to be, again, like you said, different for everyone. But I found that some of the things that, you know, if you can get your family involved at a younger age, just taking a walk together um, through the woods, things along that line, we'd take our dog and, and we all enjoyed that and look forward to doing those kind of things. Spending time with family, building relationships that all kind of builds in together. Mm -hmm. And if we can maybe find ways to do fun things that also can help us in our other areas, whether it be health, whether it be family, whether it be the friendships, that's a great way to, to keep things fresh, to keep things fun, is finding ways to kind of check off two boxes at once. Right. Yeah, I've called this twofers, and I know that's not proper English or grammar, but the fact is, as I mentioned, I play golf, and when I golf, I always walk. You know, 90% of the people take a cart, so I feel like golf takes a fair amount of time, but I'm also getting some physical exercise at the same time. And also, you're going to build some relationships if you're with anyone. And that could be your family as well. So I found it to be a career enhancer. Uh, you know, like I say, it's got its health benefit. So the more things you can find like that, the better. And it's, it's important to find fun things. But there's kind of different, two different types of activities. There's active activities, and then there's maybe some passive activities, which could lead to some bad habits as well. That's for sure. Um, I think, you know, we have to be open and flexible to new things. Uh, I can recall when my dad was alive, he was quite a gardener. And I tried it, but my um, intensity wasn't there. And the weeds soon took over. But now, at this point in my life, I enjoy gardening. And my wife and I both produce them. We've created an orchard. So that wasn't something that was important to me 20 years ago. But our, our interests do change over time. I suppose it's easy to say I want to have more fun. We find other things in life that creep in that maybe take away time to have fun. But like these other aspects, these other facets of life we've talked about, there is a commitment to making sure we have some of that time in order to have the mental health, in order to build our relationships, in order to and personally develop. Right. You know, this by um, all stretch imagination is the, is the one of the eight that is the most difficult to find the time for, especially as a, as a young parent, there's just not time in the day. But I think if you're really um, constructive in, in how you can design things, you can find things that the whole family can enjoy. I remember hearing someone talk about, uh, made a quote, instead of spending so much time planning a two week vacation, why not create a life that you don't need to escape from? And I think maybe some people maybe have a hard time having fun because they feel as if, if I'm having fun, I'm not devoting time to other aspects, mm -hmm. that maybe that becomes an issue with them. Yeah, and when we, we've been talking about balance, and balance doesn't mean equality. It's not like a teeter-totter that every aspect has equal time. When we talked about career, we know that's going to be the most time. F 
fun might be the least, but the fact is we still have some time for that. And it goes back to your, your diagram on the eight facets of life. The fact that it, it is a circle, it is a wheel, that all eight aspects are equally important. Right. They're equally important, but that doesn't mean equally in as far as time spent. What other tips do you have for, for people? What other resources do you have for people who, who need to have a little bit more balance with yeah. the fun aspect? Again, I think the big thing is it needn't be costly. That's where a lot of people stumble. Um, but as far as pointing people to certain websites, it's all going to depend on interest. You know, for myself, I might look at a golf website or a Mother Earth News website. Uh, for someone that's into, you know, I've got a friend that's uh, auto repair or woodworking. They're getting their twofers because they're also making some money at their, at their hobby or what they call as fun. So the key is that there's, there's places to look, and almost any magazine that you like has a website that would give you some free tips. All right, thank you very much, Chris. We're going to wrap up our eight facets of life on our next episode, and it is perhaps the most important. It is faith, and that's no surprising coming here at WTLW. If you would like to contact Chris and have him teach his eight facets of life workshop for your group organization, you can email him at theconleys102 at gmail.com. You can also view our previous installments of the Eight Facets of Life online at faithandfriends.wtlw.com.